Today, we're gonna have a look at these C-band dish satellite LNB covers, this black nose cone on the front of the dishes. Try and unravel the mystery of what these are. There's no real mystery about these things. They're just plastic covers that protect the satellite dishes LNB. What gives these dishes an interesting look though, is that the nose cone, as I call them, or LNB cover points into the sky. So it gives these dishes the look of transmitting some kind of a signal, which is far from the case. People see these satellite dishes in my yard and walk by and ask me all kinds of funny questions like, are you broadcasting to Mars? Are you communicating with aliens? And the answer is, even if I was, I wouldn't tell you. But because the L and B cover points up into the sky, people automatically think that this is some kind of broadcasting or transmitting dish. But the reality is, is that the L and B, which is located inside the plastic cover, as you'll see in a minute, actually points at the dish. The satellite dish's job is to capture and reflect the signal back into the LNB where the signal is processed and sent to your satellite receiver and decoded into TV channels. All right, let's take a cover off one of my dishes so we can see what's inside. There's really not too much going on in there. Just a C-band LNB with a single coaxial cable. This is basically like a giant KU band dish. Same idea. The LNB just points at the dish captures the signal, sends it to the receiver. There is a little more to it than that when it comes to LNBs. If you want to learn more, then look in the description of this video. And I've got lots of videos I've made there explaining how LNBs work and looking at different types of LNBs as well. I've got quite a few of these covers from dishes that I've rescued. And there's different brands different styles, and they all have their own way of installing on the dish. Let's look at that now. Most of these covers go on with these little plastic pins. There's usually four holes on the rim and you just pop these pins in. Sometimes you have to tighten down a little plastic screw to expand the fins here. These kinds of covers tend to come on and off pretty easy. Now this one's kind of interesting. This goes on with a metal snap ring, just like this. This one is definitely unique and it happens to also be made in Canada. I'm sure they don't make them here anymore. This one here on this single button hook arm is a little more awkward to take on and off. With this one here, you have to slide the cover over the LNB and then fit this notch over the button hook arm. And it might look easy here on the grass, but up on a ladder and with coaxial cable connected, it's a lot more difficult. And it really snaps on there tight, which makes it a nightmare to get off afterwards. A few weeks ago, I was chatting with some of my fellow satellite hobbyists and somehow we got on this topic of C-band LNB covers. And I guess there's two ways of looking at it. Do you have one on or do you leave it off? Not having a cover on your LNB might seem counterintuitive, but there are a few pluses to it. First of all, it's easy to get at the components if you need to work on or repair something. Second thing is, you don't have to worry about cramming your LNB amplifiers or switches that you might have on your dish inside a small cover. And another idea that was brought up was if you live in an area where it gets really hot, having a black plastic cover on your LNB might damage it because of all the excess heat it's retaining. The other thing is these covers are notorious for being a haven for wasps and insects that want to build a nest. My fellow satellite hobbyist Patrick sent me a picture of the LNB on his C-band dish and he says he prefers not to have a cover on. Which makes a lot of sense if you are using a complex LNB setup like this or adding in any multi-switches it might not be practical to try and fit a cover over all of this equipment. 
That being said, I've also noticed that professional broadcasters in my area that use C-band dishes also do not have covers on their LNBs. So maybe Patrick's onto something. Another point, we don't put covers on KU band LNDs. So why do we do it the C band dishes? One thing to remember though, if you're not going to use a cover on your LNB, make sure the connections are watertight. Now on the side four LNB covers, the covers protect all of your electronics from the weather and give your dish a nice finished look. I guess it really comes down to personal preference. What doesn't hurt is having a few spare covers on hand.